Hello, welcome back to Better Sushi Left Nerding. In this episode, we will be looking at how to create a radial uh, mirror or circular mirror of grease pencil using spatial notes. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna have grease pencil blank. I'm gonna go to draw and I'm gonna pick our ink. Let's go to the top view and let's just draw something like scribble. Okay, so now we can do a mirror. So by default, it's mirroring in X axis, so that's correct. You can also mirror in Y and Z. So now we already have something that's a little bit abstract. You can keep this one, uh, but yeah, let's keep the X and Y. Let's save this very quickly. Radial mirror. Now we want to create some kind of duplications around it. So I will be using stretch of nodes and we will be using Blender instancing. So the advantage of something like nodes is that it's it's always like live objects. So let's say so I have a cylinder, right? I'm using cylinder and we can with cylinder we can actually turn it into a ring if we make the height zero and get rid of the cap. So this is almost like a ring, but it's actually super useful. And if we parent our grease pencil inside our object, so it should be in the same area. Okay, anyway, if we parent the grease pencil into this guy, um, and under this guy there's instancing, and we can use actually vertices and faces. Okay, so this is the idea. It's a it's super basic, but it's really fast to create this kind of kaleidoscopic grease pencil. Um, we can perhaps also calculate normal. Yeah, anyway. So we have something like this, and we can control our the resolutions and we can control the height etc um, the instance we can also scale by face size so it's, it can it can be dependent on the face size it's almost like um, adaptive um, adaptive polygon nodes you're simply using polygon face to do the radial duplications okay so that's uh, all right, that's okay. We can now continue play around, playing around with this grease pencil drawing. Now we have like symmetry, and we can start doing uh, some unusual painting. And with this, with this guy with cylinder, of course, uh, you could. Um, have multiple so not just a single face you can have multiple face so we can have a lot more of these duplications and at any time you can add the height and kind of play around play around with this idea a little bit more so I think this is kind of interesting and quite powerful Maybe uh, you, if you use like a different color grease pencil, you're gonna get uh, also a lot of different interesting result and pattern. Yeah, let's zero out the, the high for now. Let's say uh, I like this one. You can select the mesh now and then F three and then simply make instances real so now our instance is a real object and they are all uh, grease pencil objects and you can randomize the color etc you can turn it into a curve maybe let's try if this works or not convert to convert grease pencil from convert to curve 
from this pencil command J oh apply or rotation okay apply transform or control A apply all transform okay multi-user so apparently this is still connected to this guy so we need to turn this into a real object before we can convert it into a curve but I'm kind of wondering if we can just bring this into stretch of as well okay it's only selecting a single grease pencil object at a time so apparently it's a like slightly complicated but anyhow you got the idea so how you can instance quickly grease pencil into polygon face of any 3d mesh I'm using a cylinder here so I can work very quickly and it's easier to understand like this but you can yeah create instance turn it into real grease pencil objects but you you need to tweak the data so it works um, and so it's like a single object user single user objects and then you can convert it into curve and then you can export it out as 3d objects like that all right thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time bye